If you are over the age of 35 in the United States of America, that officially makes you a leftover woman. 27 to 35 is the danger zone. That's when you need to focus like a laser on the outcomes you want. But if you have made it to 35 years old and you're unmarried, you are a leftover woman. A leftover woman. You are what is left. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to just go there with you. I'm telling you the truth that you don't want to hear. Men know that there is something likely wrong with you, but you cannot be fit in a, a, an adjustable six or higher, 35, unmarried. Something wrong with you. That's where men automatically come in. Right, um, I would say that many women around the age of, I would say between 28 and 32, have a career family crisis that they have to deal with. And I think that's partly because of the foreshortened time frame that women have to contend with. Like, women have to get the major pieces of their life put together faster than men, which is also partly why men aren't under so much pressure to grow up. So because for the typical woman, um, she has to have her career and family in order pretty much by the time she's 35, because otherwise the options start to run out. And so that puts a tremendous amount of stress on women, especially at the end of their 20s. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, thanks again for any subscribes, subscribers, any uh, likes, any um, comments, and certainly the views. Uh, keep supporting. I'll keep kicking these out. Uh, so I know you saw or heard the uh, clip in the beginning. Um, reason I put those two clips together is because I think that there's like a reasoning versus like. Uh, well, a statement, and then there's a reasoning. Um, you know, one of the last big statements that uh, Kevin Samuels made before he passed was, you know, if you're 35 plus and you have not married and uh, you're what's left over. I think that what we do is, is that we kind of make that a personal value uh, issue as opposed to making it a dating market sexual dating market uh issue and i think it is very clear why they're you know after 35 um you know the idea of being what's left is an actual thing um it's because the options kind of run out and uh that quote is I'm thinking, I go back to this a few years ago, I think at least like five years ago, um, from Jordan Peterson. And, you know, some would argue, like one would say it, you know, partially, the other one would say it, you know, you know, I mean, he's a clinical, like, you know, psychiatrist, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But he's qualified to make that assessment. And he pretty much said it from a logical standpoint, not from a standpoint of, you know, you suck as a person, but that making these decisions earlier would probably be more beneficial because the options do run out, you know, with regards to creating a family, dating and mating and so on and so forth, which is essentially the point, you know, is there a better way to say it? Yes, I played the better way to say it. You know, that's the better way to say it. The point is still the point, though. Um, I think when people hear that, they're triggered because, you know, again, you know, in our community, especially, you have a real kind of centric, you know, ideology to suggest anything that women do, anything that women think is just right. Um, and even at the expense of themselves, like if they want to self mutilate, if they want to self sabotage, if they want to, uh, you know, whatever they want to do, you know, it's all good for them because they want to do it and you should, you know, have the right to freedom of choice. And I don't disagree with you having the freedom of choice. I just don't think you have the freedom of, you know, criticism. You know, you shouldn't be free from criticism because part of making those decisions, part of the consequence is criticism and that you should be also willing to be critiqued. If you believe in what you're doing, you know, then you, you will stay doing it. And I think the idea that, you know, being on your own and not needing a man 
is one of those things that's just like, all right, cool. If you believe it, accept the criticism, but you're still going to make the decision. It's a lot of things that I say, you know, for regards to content and, you know, my ideologies, whereas I get criticized for it, you know, but I stand on it and I don't mind people criticizing me for it because I'm willing to have a conversation about it, you know, and if I'm wrong, I'll take being wrong, you know, I'll concede, but I don't really get the idea, whereas I should have freedom of decision and I should also be free from criticism. It's not how it works, you know, so that with what he said, I mean, you know, he deserves criticism if you don't like what he said, but I don't think that even in his passing that he would, uh, I mean, I can't speak for the man, obviously, but I don't think that he would take it back because I think that what he said fundamentally just makes sense. You know, as you get older and older, your dating and mating options run out. That's just a fact. That has nothing to do with hating women or disliking women or whatever. And I think that what people also do is they get confused personal um, value versus dating and mating value. You know what I mean? People don't get together to just be together. You can be friends. You can be roommates. You know, you can be work partners or whatever. Like, you don't have to be married and whatever if you're not going to have kids. You know, marriage and relationships you know, especially marriages are for rearing kids. They're not for, I love you, I love you. And we could just be girlfriend and boyfriend for that. You know, we don't have to be married for that. I don't have to tie up my finances and tie up my life legally to you because there's no benefit, you know, otherwise, you know, that I can see if we're not having kids. 35, you start to, you know, get into a chair at your pregnancy and so on and so forth. But neither here nor there. The point is made that 35 is not a good age for dating and mating. It's older. It's younger because it's more practical. And that was the point. Now, I know that, you know, some people will accept it if it's coming from somebody who's qualified. And eh, there you go. Um, and others, you know, will accept it because it's just the truth. And, you know, it just is what it is. But... You know, that's my time, man. Uh, thanks for all the, again, the subscribes, the, uh, you know, the comments, the likes, and everything. It's Mike Perkins. I'm out.